Mr. Investalot, we're going to be covering some juicy bingo news today. I've been deep diving and researching again, baby, and we're going to go right in there. First thing first, ARK is talking about us, baby. Mr. Simon Barnett from ARK is actually acknowledging us again. Just of today, amazing. That genomic expert has been enlightened. What else? Well, two new mega labs are set to open in this year, 2021, to help transform the UK's diagnostic facilities, baby. What else, big daddy? Tell me more. Did somebody say we're opening our own genetics testing lab and offering genetic testing kits from home? Plus, even Sir Richard Branson wants some of that tasty genomics money. Yes, yes, and yes. So we are piecing together all the power today, honey. We are a very attractive company for researchers and academics around the world. But soon, will we become a Goliath in the growing genetics industry? So we've got a lot of great content to cover today. And let me first introduce myself for those of you that are new around here. My name is Miguel. I look for the biggest, juiciest growth stocks and I'm very interested in BNGO, baby. I'm a retail investor here in London and I always wanna provide the best and most valuable information I can in an entertaining way. Always remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't give you financial advice. All I do is make entertaining videos. If you like these kinds of videos and you want to help support me, click the join button just above my head. It's only 99 cents a month and you help me to create great videos. But if you're unable to click the join button, just you pressing like and clicking subscribe on this video means the world to me. I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much. First of all, we've been swinging toe to toe with ARK. So we've been trying to prove our value to these guys. And Mr. Simon Barnett is one of their genomic experts. So listen to his point of view here in the tweets today. I understand much more than I did about the cytogenetics market itself and how OGM could displace legacy methods. I've learned a lot about scaffolding approaches to de novo genome assembly. I've also learned more about the Venn diagram between LRS and optical genome mapping. And then he spoke about what they look for in companies. So they're not just looking for, you know, methods. So here you can see, secondly, it's important to point out that a method, SKU or service isn't a company. Everything I mentioned above helps us assign a score to the different aspects of a company, such as product leadership and economic moat or execution. We consider these, as well as other facets of companies inclusive of a five-year financial model in our investment process. I can't be much more granular than that other than to say that the process is iterative and ongoing ongoing baby hope that's helpful this is only my opinion but i can smell it in the air baby i can get a little whiff of that interest so could arc be changing their tone in the future that is the question next i was sent this by my bingo cowboys yeehaw i want to say thank you for sending this to me this shows the upside potential of bngo my bingo brother clayton thank you for sending me this and bruno all of you guys Look at this. So this was published on the 3rd of February 2021 and it talks about the stock and it says the stock lies in the middle of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. Given the short term trend, the stock is expected to rise 587% during the next three months with a 90% probability hold a price between $39 and $95.83. And they were speaking about this time frame of a three month period. So guys, nothing is for sure, but it's lovely to look at bright predictions. Thank you, stockinvest.us. So you know me, London boy, bang bang. I wanted to see what the UK is actually doing to up the levels. So next we dug into the government website files and there are these two huge mega labs opening in the UK. And it's really exciting because you can see they're going to be used to help diagnosis. And this will add an additional 600,000 diagnostic tests a day for the UK. So this has been focused surrounding critical illnesses, including cancer. That's our speciality, baby. And also the big C-19. The government has already established the largest network of diagnostic testing facilities in British history. And we're going to keep on growing baby so check this terminology not only will the two labs be used to process c19 tests but a significant boost in diagnostic capabilities will be used for critical illness including cancer cardiovascular and metabolic diseases so next i want you to look at where they are located i had to search this up because the first one is in leamington spa as we can see here don't know where that is so let's look baby apparently it's near coventry so coventry is just Bum bada boom, northwest from London. If you can see London down here, it's just northwest from London. And we are located right there in the Royal Leamington Spa, baby. And the next one will be opening in Scotland. And as you guys may know, we remember Juicy Joe Butler. When he was at the Festival of Genomics, he was hollering at all of those 
Edinburgh scientists. So there was Edinburgh researchers who are working with Illumina, I think it was, for diagnostic testing. So if they're doing genomic diagnostic testing in Scotland as well, maybe they have links there. Maybe Joe Butler can get us a nice juicy deal, baby. Yeehaw! The next thing I want to show you guys is the movement of both Joe and the CEO of BioNanoGenomics. Let's take a look on Twitter. Hey Juicy Joe, hey Mr. Eric Holmlin, you followed Linogen. Remember this name? So they followed these guys just a couple days ago. So what does this mean? Well baby, back last year we actually acquired the diagnostic services provider Linogen. And a few days ago, back in January 29, we can see Linogen posted, Linogen's new program, Genetics from Home, allows physicians to order genetic tests electronically to avoid delays in detecting diagnosis for patients. Learn more about Genetics from Home and how to get started. Mmm, and that's why I think this could be a juice in your revenue stream, baby. Giddy up, giddy up. Yeehaw! Blue Sky on Mars. Big up this genius right here, baby. This guy mentioned something and I found it very interesting. May have uncovered something big. BioNanogenomics wants to open their own CLIA certified lab in San Diego, California. So they can accept human tissues for testing. So basically, they are sticking their toe into a 16.77 billion market cap that Quest Diagnostics DGX specializes in. Oh, we coming, baby. And we coming hard. So who are Quest Diagnostics? That is the question. And did this crash because they heard about the bingo cowboys? So according to their website, Quest Diagnostics empowers people to take action to improve health outcomes. So it's derived from the world's largest database of clinical lab results. Our diagnostic insights reveal new avenues to identify and treat disease, inspire healthy behaviors, and improve healthcare management. Quest annually serves one in three adult Americans and half the physicians and hospitals in the the United States. Whoa, that's the lot, baby. And our 45,000 employees understand that in the right hands with the right context, our diagnostic insights can inspire actions that transform lives. Well, they sound like big boys. They sound like there's a big juicy market there and they're making money. That's what it sounds like. And these guys got a juicy 16 billy market cap. So for those of us that didn't know, because I didn't know this, Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments is CLIA. And basically you need to be certified before you can accept human samples for diagnostic testing. So laboratories will go out of their way to make sure they get this kind of a license and certificate so they're able to test human samples. So imagine guys, clinics, you could just come here, schedule an appointment online. So it's not only convenient, it also helps reduce your waiting time so you can get back to living your life. You can also order your own lab tests, shop online, make your appointment, and then get your results sent directly to you. And it's all digitalized, baby, so you can do this on a smartphone, tablet, or desktop. So next, let's talk about this Linogen. It says, rethink the delivery of genetic testing. Genetics from home provides flexibility and convenience to help your clinical care when your patients cannot attend their in-person appointments. So I actually think this is brilliant. So imagine, yeah, Linogen can do these home test kits for genetics and they can do this for providers. So this can be a gem as lots of people are either too sick to travel or they're afraid of COVID. So this saves hassle, it saves time and it reduces your risk. How easy is this system though? Just complete and return a test form, boom, bada boom, number Number two, Linogen will contact your patient. Your cheek swab is sent to your patient's home. The physician is notified and then the results come. And it's just like this, capture, upload and see results. So what they wanted to do is make it scalable, flexible and easy for both you and families. Supported by a cast of genetic counselors and geneticists to help enhance your circle of care and it has transparency with no surprise bills. This could be potentially very lucrative, baby. So now this was the latest spec and this actually surprised me. So this was um, 23andMe and Richard Branson VGAC SPAC announcing and they're having a merger and for me I just thought this is crazy because instead of picking space this man has decided to pick genomics because he knows that genetic testing is worth so much money. So just take a look at some of these test kits, £149 a single test kit and these guys sell millions and millions of them and as you can see here just below me this was back in 2019 by the way but 23andMe sold around about 10 million tests so far and then for those of you that know about Ancestry.com they shipped more than 15 million so what's really funny is we can see here that this uh, website said allied market research they said that the genetic testing market will be worth around about 21 billion by 2027 and now just an hour ago look at these different statistics genetic testing market is expected to gain market market growth in the forecast period of 2021 to 2028, right? So DataBridge market research actually analyzed the market to reach an estimated value of $585.8 billion. 
And this is going to grow at compounded annual growth rate of 11.85%. So they said major players covered here in this report are 23 and Me and loads of others. You can see Illumina in here. You can, you can see Pac-B in there. But they didn't mention bio nanogenomics. But don't worry, guys. I'm sure we'll be a piece of the puzzle because ARK Invest has already seen us. And ARK Invest was one of the most bullish on both 3D printing and genomics. These guys may be major players now, but we are still a key part of the puzzle. And if the market is worth 585 billion by 2028, even if we get just a fraction of that market, we'll be caking, baby. And we get a re-eat-wind. You know I had to rewind it to the genome UK scene because I just want to show you how much the UK is spending once again. This is just the UK spending, yeah? So just in research alone, the government has decided to put the budget from 2022 all the way to 2025. They're going to increase public spending by 22 billion pounds. I don't know what it currently is, but they're going to increase it. Research and development, 22 billion pounds. So now... That's just the UK alone. But what more is the budget globally? So we're talking about big super forces. Everybody's pushing to be world leaders and be dominant in the genomics market. So how much will China be spending? How much will India be spending? How much will USA be spending? Canada, all of Europe and even Africa. Everybody is investing because the genomic revolution is here and it's now. And for generations to come, we know that we are a part of it. So baby, do we have what it takes to be genomic global champions? The truth is, I don't know, baby. But I know right now, we're definitely a slice of the pie and we can reveal structural variations that other companies cannot. Before we sum up, we had to take a juicy look at this insider trading. Take a look at this. This is a SEC form, United States of Securities and Exchange Commission. And we see a Mr. Stuart Christopher P of BioNanogenomics. And what is he doing? He seems keen, green and supreme. <laughs> He smells that money, baby. Yes, this man here has bought 8,000 shares for $6 each on the 22nd of January 2021. And who is Christopher? Christopher is the Chief Financial Officer of BioNanogenomics. Have you ever told someone, put your money where your mouth is? Because baby, he just did. So my brothers and sisters, I'm proud to be part of the Bingo Cowboys. And I can see here, we're going to be supporting the cause. We're going to be innovating and changing the world. We're going to be helping them find cures for cancer. We're going to be finding cures for many other dis- <coughs> Whoa, for many other diseases. So lastly, guys, this is not financial advice, right? But when I get my spare cash, baby, I'm going to be buying up all of these dips. And this is not financial advice, but my price prediction is a modest $25 by the end of year. But with the high price, it could be unlimited potential, baby. And maybe on a high price estimate, 35, 40 conservatively. But this all depends. And remember, this is not financial advice. This all depends on sales and contracts. We need to get the sales through the door. We need to get these machines out there, get people consuming, let them test all they want. Let's get them enjoying the $550 per genome get them on 120 genomes per six months and we're going to be caking baby as well as us cash flowing from linogen and our clia certified labs in other news my bingo cowboy jose velasquez thank you very much for tagging me in this i don't know where you got it from but it looks beautiful but are we able to actually find biomarkers to assess the rate of aging in people most notably dna methylation based clocks last but not least look at arc invest swag for good baby are they sponsored by Nike. Wow. The best thing about this guys is they're donating 100% of profits to select charitable organizations that they believe in. Baby, if you like videos like this and you found this entertaining and valuable, please click the join button. It's only 99 cents a month and you really help support me find research, create good videos and give you my very best efforts for content. But if you're unable to join, just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe is enough for me. I love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Mr. Investalot over and out, baby. Bish.